Your Excellency, the immediate past governor of Delta State and his wonderful wife, top military generals here present, my dear colleagues, the deputy speaker, the majority leader, and the member representing the cannot is. Please let me rest my horse on the Itato established protocol. I bring greetings from the hallowed chambers of the Dalto State House for Assembly to our celebrant, the General Leo Irabo, retired. It is indeed a privilege for Daltons to have produced you, to have exported you to the wider sphere of our country, Nigeria, to represent us. You are indeed a proud son of Delta State. When I came in, I saw you and I was discussing with my mother, the wife of the immediate past governor. That's, he looks younger. And she said, no, he's old. Sir, I want to say that you look younger as a result of commitment and training. And I know that you will look younger like this till ages. Thank you for making us proud. We are indeed proud and happy. Your Excellencies, Your Excellencies, let me say this. I beg to uh, disagree with the MD of Zenith Bank when he said that Ewa Hungary is not. Um, the property. Of course, Ewa Angari has paid off. Yes. Ewa Angari indeed paid off. Yes. That is why we have him as a CDS retired. It is a wonderful one. I want to also use this opportunity to tell the General General Ode that left. Unfortunately, I no longer bear children. I have just four and I'm, I've retired in bearing children. If not, I would have called one of my sons, General Erabo. Uh, at the level of the State House of Assembly, we are so, so proud of you. We want to say congratulations and God bless you. Thank you. Excellencies, very distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as we make distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it has been a season of generals, but I'm ready to bring in an iconic political general. Our dear champion, our mentor, and our pride. It is my rare privilege on this very occasion to invite a jeans breaker, a game changer, a preacher of the gospel, a birthday boy, His Excellency, distinguished Senator Dr. Ato Ifani Okawa, immediate past governor of Delta State, to the microphone. For, for his own goodwill message. They call him the road master. And they call him what 
Chukorurobo because of acceptance. You know Delta State is multi-ethnic state. And they call him the Ugo of Isoko. And they call him Onyewi of Ekaland. Ekweme Buruburu. And here he comes. Gentlemen, but a very high antenna spiritually. Ekweme, you have the microphone. Please, shall we put our hands together for our leader and our father? Your Excellency, the Governor of Delta State, Right Honorable Sheriff Francis Oborowari, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Delta State, Samon de Oyeme, the Chief of Defense Staff, and all the service chiefs who are here present, my brother, the immediate past Chief of Defense Staff and the wife, Jalok Leo Irabo, other Chiefs of Defense Staff, my wife, Your Royal Majesties, but clearly the Dane of Agbo, and the Ubi of Owa, very many invited guests, gentlemen of the press. First, I'm very excited today to be part of this welcome party, welcome ceremony for our illustrious son, Jira Liu Irabo, and the wife. He is somebody that we are proud of as a state, he is somebody that the Khan Nation is proud of. And my wife and I and my family were very proud of him. We thank God for the service that he has rendered to our nation, Nigeria. Obviously, a service that has been distinguished and a career that can be described as very, very illustrious. My brother, I want to congratulate you and your wife. I want to welcome you back home. And I thank God that our people have deemed it necessary to put this together for you. You are worthy of it all because we know what you did for our country, Nigeria. And listening to the testaments here, we are even more proud as an Ikan nation than we were before. Obviously, you rose as a compatriot to obey Nigerians' call to serve our fatherland. And our fatherland, you have served with all your strength, believing in Nigeria. You served with heart and might the true weddings of our national anthem. You have kept faith to this nation and you have made each and every one of us proud. I'm particularly very proud to be associated with you. And even at the last lecture that you did deliver at the University of Delta Abo, you even made us more proud than we were before of you. Welcome back home. We are truly very grateful that God led you through this 37 years and has brought you back home strong and healthy, and your wife and children strong and healthy. To God alone be all the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now we welcome you back home to community service. And I believe that all the experiences that you've gotten through your 37 years in your military career will help us a lot in building and helping to build unity amongst our people. And I believe that you have a lot to contribute towards the development of the Khan Nation and the entirety of the Outer States. We're truly very glad to receive back home and welcome you truly to come to service, which I know you are already, already part of. Congratulations once again. And I want to congratulate the current Chief of Defense Staff, 
who is also from this state, since the wife is from this state. We must be a very lucky state. His Excellency the Governor, you must truly be very lucky. I had in my tenure, my second tenure, the Chief of Defense Staff. Now in your tenure, your first tenure, you have the Chief of Defense Staff because the daughter, your daughter, is the wife of the Chief of Defense Staff. We must be a very lucky people and a lucky state. I will pray that God will continue to help us as a people and as a state. And I want to thank the Royal Fathers for their presence in this very event. It adds a lot to it. It makes our brother feel very welcome. And I thank you all for coming. I also want to congratulate our sister, Ms. Rabo, because without her, I'm not sure that our brother would have been able to attain the very levels that he did attain. When you have a peaceful home, you always excel in your career. I can attest to that as a person and as a government in the past eight years. My brother, Alwa, a general ruler, God bless you. Chief Ndukai Irabo and his lovely wife Ebele Irabo Esquire. Let us put in on record that um, His Excellency Chief Ndukai Irabo uh, is um, a co chairman of the Central Working Committee. Gentlemen, please permit me to introduce a former chief of army staff. While our former governor was giving his goodwill message, he strolled into this arena talking about Lieutenant General Azubike Ihejerika. Interestingly, our brother and father, the man we are celebrating today, General Loki Eloy Rabo, was principal staff officer to Lieutenant General Inye Jerika when he was chief of army staff. And Inye Jerika happens to be one of those officers who saw the potentials in him and nurtured him to where he is today. General Inye Jerika, you are welcome to this August occasion. Thank you so much for gracing this event. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as we are making progress, let's quickly invite the son of the C.K. Morgan of World War Music Dynasty is a good John Morgan and the Morgans. For a snatch of music before we go to the next item. Joe Morgan, you have the stage. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, 
Thank you very much. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me now bring up a four-star general in the political army. He is the man in charge of Delta State, a security conscious politician, the new sheriff in town, his excellency right honorable elder sheriff francis orokwada oporowori governor of delta state for his address You're Thank you very much. Your Excellency Samodo Yeme, the Deputy Governor. Your Excellency, the Middle Pass Governor. Senator Dr. Ifan Shuku Okowa. Happy birthday. Allow. 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 The, the member representing a can nation at the National Assembly, Right Honorable Victor Unkolo, the Mr. Speaker, Deputy Speaker, and other members, the Chief of Army Staff, other generals that are here, and former Chief of Army Staff. Chief of Defense Staff, former Chief of Defense Staff, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. 
I'm very happy to be here to celebrate with one of our own the finest I see the finest Army General on this reception organized by God will bless the condition as governor is to encourage all the ethnic nationality to continue to be united and to host their own that will spoil them to continue to do more a lot has been said about our brother general Rabo. yes as a speaker in the seventh assembly a lot that he has done I'm aware after putting 35 years at the initial stage and uh, almost 35 years and it was upgraded almost getting to the time of retirement he was made the chief of defense staff and putting another 29 months is by the grace of God it's not by his strength his destined for that position and he has done very well as a brilliant officer and one thing I find about him is somebody that has the passion to serve. He's committed, very focused in all he's doing. And I'm very sure the person that has taken over from you, CG Musa, is somebody I know for almost two decades. He's also a fine officer. And I know this nation more peace will come to this nation. I want to thank all that have come. I don't want to repeat what people have said. A lot have been said about you. It's like repetition. I have told you personally of your kind of person. And there are a lot of testimony here today. Celebrating you home, back home, is a good thing. When I went to attend your pool of, uh, pool, uh, Pull out service. It was a well attended. A lot of retired generals were there. Because of what you have done in the armed forces, I want to congratulate you, congratulate the incarnation, and also Delta State for having somebody like you. And now we have our e law. I think it's the Lord's dream. Congratulate Delta State for these great men. Congratulate all everybody that have come. Thank you and God, God bless. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, the Right Honorable Elder Sharif. Francis thank you very much for those kind words and wonderful remarks. Your Excellencies, I like to judge Kordu. Yes, because of the next item, we like to invite the 63 Brigade Nigeria Army Asaba. We are going to play because um, we are going to invite. General Lucky Elonye Onye Luche Irabo for his own response. The military band will not play. Uma fugo no mandi no musi nanga muri. Owa mo ebe chuku si nanga ganiro. Sua! 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 Sua!
Ifonye gabu ko gabu Ifonye gabu ko gabu Ifonye gabu ko gabu Nenua Ifonye gabu ko gabu
Gentlemen, at this point in time, it's my privilege to invite the general in whom we are well pleased, our brother, retired but not tired, the man for whom we are all here gathered, General Loki Eloya Irabo, the man that has redefined military professionalism, the man that came, saw, and conquered, and today. He's being celebrated. Let's give him a round of applause as he makes his way to the podium. Look at him walking majestically, walking gingerly to the podium. A man that has done so well for this nation. Red cap looks good on you, sir. Welcome home. Allah the Oba. Yeah, the wife of a general is a, a rank higher. The wife is a field marshal. Yes, I can tell you. Very good marriage council. You just saw what happened now. Thank you, sir. The Excellency, the Executive Governor of that state. Right Honorable Sheriff Oberwari, JP, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of that state, Your Excellency, the immediate past Governor of that state, the Chief of Defense Staff, and the representatives of the service chiefs, our real fathers. Day of Abo, His Royal Majesty Ikechiku and the Obi of Owa, the Bansan Lani, only American, all the very revered members of the National Assembly, past and present, very distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, Nde Ka Alwani, Nsnoni Meike, Inyan Nuri Menim Tan, Mene Mwinyem Nem Mum, Oni Meike, Ebele Ebele Ono Ya Wepwe Ewo, Wano Gi Mihyen, no slow boy, no working on oil, hundred folds in Jesus' name. See, I'm most honored and delighted, and indeed profoundly grateful to the Ikan Nation for this show that is not only surprising to me, but it's equally so overwhelming. In our local parlance, we say onwa or tumenya or toponomenya. Hallelujah. Only make Even though my response here is not the vote of tanks, but I can't but 
appreciate everyone for this honor. I must appreciate His Excellency, the Governor of that state, who just within a very short time, a short notice, accepted not only to be at my preliminary ceremony in Abuja, but equally spending the rest of the day here in my honor. I'm most grateful. The immediate past, Governor, I am delighted, I'm grateful that today that I'm made to know that it's your birthday, you have shared the celebration all in my honor. Your Excellency, I want to thank you so profoundly along with your wife. You make me a hurricane, you know, any. Sir. The Dane Abo, whose counsel and prayers have been a source of inspiration and motivation, I like to say, do they, do they, do they, need to know Sir. His Royal Majesty, the Obi of Owa, Dr. Efezomo, Baba Obiago, Emeke, Nito Naifi, Ne, Inye, Lake, Lady, Eme, Nun, Jason, Gil, Kane, Gwai, Ne, Epere, Wadan, Yo, Ufire, Hau, Gimene, Eri, Bintan, Emeke, Meke, May God bless you. May your reign and the reign of Dean belong in Jesus' name. Amen. I can't but appreciate Chief Mwakalo, whose friendship spans close to three decades. As far back as when I was a captain, little did I know that a little interaction that we had would become something that would be will be a love a lifelong friendship. Omelora, thank you so very much. My mentors are here. General Gomudia. Well he has told you everything about his mentorship. And I like to use this opportunity to thank you for those times of mentorship. Indeed you were in fact you remain a role model and I'm glad that today you have come to honor me and my family. I must also appreciate the former chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Onyabo Ehejirika, who I served as the principal staff officer. I also like to thank you for your mentorship. Indeed, those very tasking assignments that you gave me paved the way. You were the one who exposed me to the Northeast operations. The fundamentals. It was during your time that what people say I knew, the foundations were laid. I'd like to thank you so very much. I, I have members of the National Assembly, Senator Uche Kunife is here, who has become a part of the family because of the friendship that we have struck over the years and the support that she along with members of our committee and the rest of the National Assembly members gave to me as the Chief of Defense Staff. Senator Amori is also here and there are too many that are here that I can't you know, um, keep mentioning them. Of course not forgetting my own brother who represent me at the Federal House of Representatives and who is also uh, a proud IGS. I honor me. <laughs> um, I know Oyago is jealous, but don't worry. <laughs> when we still go to play our uh, football, we will beat Columbus. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. There are so many here that I do not like. To, uh, wouldn't want to be mentioning them one after the other. The chief of defense staff, of course, I'm glad that your pedigree is well known and I'm happy that no other person was chosen to be the chief of defense staff at this time. 
let me use this opportunity to assure all members of the Kaa Nation, all indigenous of the Kaa Nation, and indeed the other state of Nigeria, that in CG Musa as CDS, we certainly are well pleased, and the security and good hands. The growth and development of the armed forces is in good hands. And so, be rest assured that Musa, along with his team of service chiefs, will do the best to ensure that they increase or escalate the approaches that we have established to ensure that within our nation there will be no incident of insecurity anywhere. Well, my family, my mom is here. For some reasons of age, I wouldn't call her out. But I think it's necessary for me to go through, go down memory lane. I recall that as a toddler, what my mom did. I also recall that throughout the years I went primary school and secondary school, the more that he gave to me, I can't forget you. My uncles are here, Uncle John is here, along with his, his, with his children, I also have my other siblings, Patience is here, Oka is here, Ngozi is here, along with their children, and of course my aunties that are here. My in-laws are equally here. Dr. Okubo, who indeed is my father-in-law, after the death of my father-in-law, he remains indeed a solid pillar that has helped me to wade through not only my marriage and indeed my family, but equally in the job. The tidbits that I've received from him along with my other in-laws have been very profound. And I'm grateful and I thought it's necessary for me to use this opportunity to appreciate you publicly. In Apo Primary School, little did I know that going to Ika Grammar School will open the gateway for me to be exposed not only to the rest of Nigeria but equally to the world. I'm glad that I attended those schools and I'm happy and hoping that we will continue to give support to the growth and development of not only Oko Primary School, but equally Ika Grammar School, and everywhere that I've had, to, that, that I've made contributions to my development. As I take a desired rest, why I say desired rest, because it's been described as such. And in my life after service, along with my family, I'd like to make a commitment and reconsolidate my commitment to the Ika Nation that we will do everything possible to ensure that Ika Karema. Yes, I also yes, make a commitment that Delta State remains a formal state, a state that will be the signature of all eyes in Nigeria. This is the commitment, one of our contributions that I will make that is required of me. Please be assured of that commitment. And of course for our nation, there is no better nation than Nigeria. There is no nation that is better than Nigeria. I hear you. East or West, home is the best. Nigeria remains a country that is rich in offense. Its human capital is like no other across the globe. I believe that the government of the day is already taking us to the Eldorado that we so cherish. And I know that everyone as a Nigerian, all Nigerians will join hands with him, along with indeed all well-meaning Nigerians, to ensure that not only do we have a Nigeria of our dreams, that everyone will be proud to be a Nigerian. And for me, I remain committed. Indeed, having served the nation for close to 40 years, four decades, what is left? So the rest of my life is committed to serving Nigeria. And that is a commitment that I'm making after consultation with my wife. That whatever it takes for us to have a beautiful country, whatever contribution that is required of me, that we will make. And to the incarnation, know that we remain your vanguard. We will protect you. We will ensure that our youths do no longer be interested in courtesy. They will no longer be in involved in any form of fraud. Having been to be involved in everything that has to do with 419. No, there has to be everything. 
and there will be a renaissance such that the car that made me and indeed many of of my eye indeed of course uh phobias chief jim of here of course Nduka, a baby now that is here and a immediate past governor and so many more sons and daughters who are doing well across the globe that they started right from a car land and so there is no reason why any a car indigent any a car youth should be involved in criminality this we will work together to ensure that we change the narrative a car nation is a nation of good men and women a car nation is a nation of men of value those who are interested in value addition we will do everything possible to ensure that we uplift the fortunes of a car land this is a commitment I'm making to you, and I know that as we work together along with the state government and of course the government of Nigeria, there will be a, a, and indeed a significant transformation. And of course, not discounting the valued contributions of our traditional rulers. Once again, West refer me to thank everyone of you for this honor that you have done me. And to my indeed colleagues in arm, my comrades in arm, especially the band that I hear. I'd like to thank you for this honor and of course for Joe Magon along with his team for the very wonderful tunes which you have played in my honor. Thank you so very much for this honor and I'm proud to be an Eka indigent. <laughs> All right, we like. Make it no 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 all right, the present CDS, CG Musa, will be made, presenting his uh, gift to our oil chief celebrant, General Lucky Rabo. In the same vein, National Association of ICA students will be presenting their own gift. But I'd like to welcome Alex Onyago. I'd like to welcome you, Chief Larry Onyeche, is President General of Agbo. Lord, we'd like to welcome all of you. And uh, Pastor, the vote of thanks is Dickin Tom Ogboy, the POT Chairman of Kagrama School. Thank you, and God bless you. They can talk up boy for vote of times, please. Let's put our hands together for the King Tom Ogboy as he takes the vote of thanks. You're welcome so much, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the to give thanks, vote of thanks. The first personality to be recognized is God Almighty, who made it possible for this event to take place. 
We give him all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration. On behalf of the organizing committee for this event, I'd like to say a big thank you to all the guests who have come here, most especially the governor of Delta State, the immediate past governor of Delta State, the chief of defense staff, their royal highnesses who are here today, all the military chiefs, all the special guests, all the invitees. I'd like to say a big thank you to all of you for making this occasion a success. Thank all the committees, all the committee members who work day and night justly to see that this event came to pass. I must not forget to mention retired Rear Admiral Agulo, who took it upon his shoulders to put this whole thing together. I'd like us to give him a clap offering. Clap for him. Appreciate him. He didn't sleep for more than two weeks. Every time I speak to him, he say, I've not slept yet. But this is the result. This is the result. This is the result. I want to thank everyone who contributed financially. Because when we started, there was no funds on ground. But we believe God that God will bring it to pass. And funds came in. We want to appreciate Delta State government for the big support they gave to us. We want to appreciate the immediate past governor of Delta State for his big support to seeing that this was a success. We want to appreciate the secretary to government, uh, Delta State government, for all the assistance he gave. On behalf of the organizing committee, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who has come here. By the grace of God, you will get back to your homes safe and sound in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to pray, especially for General Lucky Rabo, that God will be with you. God will be with you. The Lord will guide you. The Lord will lead you to new doors opening for you in the mighty name of Jesus. On behalf of the committee, I say a big thank you to each and every one of you. Bye bye now. Sir, please close it. Close it. Okay, shall we rise to pray to close the event? To God be the glory, great things he has done. So love him the world that he gave us his son to this life and atonement for sins and open the light that all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth yeah, rejoice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh God. To the Father, through Jesus, the Son, and give Him the glory, great things He has done. And so our Father and our God, we acknowledge that you have done a great thing for us today. To you be all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for making this event a great success. Thank you for answering the prayers of the prayer committee. Thank you for no rain here. Thank you that there was no incident here. Thank you that everyone is happy. Father, we give you all the glory. We pray, O oh Lord, that we will all go home safely. We pray, O oh Lord, that we will enjoy our day today. Most especially, I want to remember that today is the birthday of Senator Ifan Okowa. We commit him into your able hands. We ask, O oh Lord, that you come to watch over him in the mighty name of Jesus. We remember the new governor. We ask, O oh Lord, that you watch over him. We ask, O oh Lord, that you guide him. We ask, O oh Lord, that you direct his path 
in the mighty name of Jesus. We remember the chief of defense staff. Father, we commit him into your hands. We ask, O oh Lord, that you will watch over him, you will direct him, you will lead properly in the name of Jesus. Thank you for all of us who are here. We cover each and every one of us with the blood of Jesus. We say, O oh Lord God, let your presence be with us. Be a wall of fire around each and every one of us. This we ask in the name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, O oh our Father, for in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. May we share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Please remain standing as we take the national item.